For decades, internationally acclaimed soprano and four-time Grammy winner, Renee Fleming has been a shining star on the world's great opera stages, including the Metropolitan Opera, right here in New York. Now, she's appearing on another New York stage in a somewhat different role and winning even more accolades for her Broadway musical debut in a major revival of Rodgers and Hammerstein's saga of doomed love, Carousel. As Nettie Fowler, Renee Fleming sings many of the show's celebrated classics, among them the show's emotional anthem, You'll Never Walk Alone. Take a quick look and you will see why she leaves hardly a dry eye, including mine, when I saw it in the house. And we are delighted to have Renee Fleming join us now. Renee, it's always nice to see you. It's great to see you too, Jack. My wife and I saw it last week. It, it's just, it's marvelous. Oh, thank you. And, and I do want to talk with you about, there's so many iconic songs in it. And you almost don't realize it until you sit in and you say, oh, that one, oh, that one too. It's true. This is considered to be the greatest American musical. And in many ways, the closest to the classical arts, because you have ballet, you have an artist. I was going to ask you about that. It, it's, there's so much going on on that stage. Were you surprised at the connections between the classical arts and this production? Well, my colleagues and I talk about the fact that we think that that is the thing that makes this so special, because you have me, you have, you have these spectacular dancers from ABT, from New York City Ballet, Miami Ballet, and you have this great ensemble of singers, and, and these these extraordinary Broadway singers who are so versatile and have discovered that they can sing closer to the style that I sing in and they've never, they've never even tried it before. So the, the quality on every level is so high. One of the things I always find fascinating is, is when somebody who is known in another venue comes on to Broadway and how the Broadway folks are going to react to them. And as you walked onto the stage for your very first appearance, the audience went crazy. <laughs> uh, and, and so you could tell, all right, they are loving having Renee Fleming here. Yes. Do, do you get it's a, so wonderful. Do you get yeah. a sense, is there, is there a different audience vibe, a different audience reaction between uh, if you're on an opera stage where you might have thousands of folks right. and a Broadway theater where you've got hundreds of folks? Yes. This is a pretty big hall, it's about 1,400, and you know, when you think about eight shows a week, the audience the numbers do add up, but the, the response is so positive. I mean, people are just loving it, and they're loving the show, and you're right, the melodic material in this. I mean, I, I really just think if I loved you, is there's no greater melody in all of music. And I get to start with June is busting out all over, which is an expression of pure joy. The show is 70-some years old. Yeah, Rogers 75 and years old. Second work yes. that they did together. Yes. 70 some years old and yet I'm, I'm always watching the audience around. Everybody's humming and singing it. Even younger people are yes. humming. Do you, do you get that reaction to when you all of a sudden, you know, you burst into these songs and, and everybody knows them? Yeah, it's, it's funny because it's mostly young people who wait outside uh, to, and I always poll them, you know, so did you know this? You know, did you like it? Are you learning this music? So some of them get it as part of their musical education and a lot of people say, no, I didn't know it and I love it so much, you know, so it's very mixed, but I, I had never seen the show, I have to confess. So I didn't know the show as well as I thought I did. I knew the music, but not I knew all the, the music production. exactly. Oh. So, and it's dark. I mean, you know, it's a oh, it really is. complex. It, yeah. I mean, it's it's story. Magnificent music, but a as you said, a very yes. dark and, and yeah. deeply probing story about it. Exactly. Right. How about the, the your daily routine? Right, eight shows a week, sometimes two a day. Yes. And it, they're demanding songs. There's a lot of activity right. on that stage going on. How is your daily routine different doing a Broadway musical as opposed to if you're performing at the Met? It's quite different because when I sing any kind of classical concert, it's, it's so uh, physically tiring and demanding in terms of the vocal you know, virtuosity of it. Um, and I, I, takes, I have to be quiet, I can't do anything on a performance day, I have to really prepare and I have to rest my voice. This I'm finding to be quite different and I, I polled a lot of my friends who have done this and they either said you have to cloister yourself, you can't go out, you can't do anything or they've said live your life, walk on stage and what's my first line and go. And what have you chosen to do? Which I approach? I think the latter so far. 
you know, knock on leather. Something. <laughs> yeah. So far, I'm really, I'm, I'm enjoying it. And I think part of it is because in my mind, I have sort of imagined that I'm away from my own world, so nobody knows me on this Broadway world, and I can just have fun. <laughs> well, the fact is, everybody knows you, but it, it does look like you're enjoying yourself. I love it. You know, it. just looking at on the stage and the interaction um, with the other actors. Yes. Uh, question for you. We, we talked about You'll Never Walk Alone, an anthem, and I think Absolutely. that's the right term for it. You've performed it yes. many times in Absolutely. many different venues. Right. Here are you doing it on stage with a lot of people around you and acting. Is it different then for you to perform that in that type of environment? It's so powerful. I mean, it's so emotional. It's, it's quite different. You know, on its own, in a standalone situation, and even if when it's tragic, like the 9-11 memorial that I sang it at, uh, it is uh, absolutely an anthem. And it's one that people know and don't even realize it's from a musical. But in the context, it's, it's so tragic. It's, it's Nettie being the strength, and really the strength of the relationships between the three women is, is the soul of this work. And her trying to comfort Julie, right. whose husband has just committed yeah. suicide, yeah. really. And um, it's, it's an incredibly powerful moment. Renee, it's always such a pleasure talking with you. Thank you so Thank much you, for Jack. spending some time with My us. My pleasure. We'll look forward to chatting again with you. Good. Soon. Yay. And a reminder, Renee Fleming appears in Carousel, now playing at the Imperial Theater. For more information, log on to carouselbroadway.com or metrofocus.org.